All right, welcome back to the channel. Today or right now, I'm gonna show you how we can do quick actions with um, 3D touch or force touch, whatever uh, your iOS application. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quick actions really quick. And because I wanna keep these tutorials short, but let's go ahead and look at it right now. Okay, so this is my phone right here, right? It's also on the screen, so you're seeing both right now. And basically, the reason I'm showing you on my phone and not the simulator is because you can't do force touch in the simulator. So if you see that, there you go. That's what we're trying to do today. So let's go ahead and uh, get going. So if you don't have uh, a phone to do this on, uh, then you're just not gonna know if it works or not, but you can be pretty sure it does if you follow along here. Okay, so as you can see, I have an empty project except for I have a few lines here, okay? The only reason I have uh, code on lines 13 to 15 is because uh, in my app that I built, here, let me show you. When I force touch into it, you'll see that I have this light up there, all right? I just did that because my the image I chose was dark, so you can throw that in there if you want or not. But anyway, let's get started, okay? So it's pretty simple. I actually already put it in here, but I'll uh, get rid of it and then explain to you, okay? So this is what your info.plist should look like, something like that, okay? So first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your app identifier, okay? So let me just go into my code here and boost it up because I noticed it's pretty small in my videos. And then uh, let's go ahead and look here. You'll see that for UI application shortcut item, that's annoying. You'll see that for shortcut item type, we have com.mycompany.myapp, right? Basically, we need to get that out of our uh, Xcode project here. So go up here to your, your code, your project, and get the bundle identifier, copy that, and then let's go into our info P list and then just kind of structuring our, our uh, markdown like this, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to go in here and just on any one of these or just at the top here, hit this plus sign. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in that UI application shortcut items. So I recommend you copy it over actually. So let's go ahead and copy this right here. Just cause like when I was learning this, I got caught on the spelling. I accidentally capitalized the C in shortcut and it took me forever to figure out what the freak was going on. So just make that, copy that over and then notice it needs to be an array. Let's turn that into an array and then let's hit plus and then let's uh, actually not hit plus. Let's go into it. So open it up. It just make sure that arrow is going down and then hit plus now. And you're gonna see it says item zero, just like here. And just make sure this is a type of dictionary. And then now we can open item zero and we can add in another. And we can basically put all these in now. So we can say shortcut item icon file. Okay, that's just the little icon. Uh, that's that, right? That little dot, it's just the, the icon case. Okay? So paste that in. And then let's just, let's say, well, actually I thought it was, let's say open dash image. Okay. And then next thing we're going to do, well, we could, let's try this. Let's say UI application here. We'll copy it over. We'll go down here to the, their second one. They did two here and we'll take the, this one UI application shortcut icon type compose. It's probably gonna be like a plus or something, I don't know. And let's paste that in there for that, okay? So we have the, and you can pull this over so you can see this. We have UI application, oh, uh, sure, it's probably way small, but it's whatever, you're gonna to have to deal with it. All right, so shortcut item icon file, and the next thing we need is the item title. So let's go ahead and copy that over, the item title. Let's hit the plus here, paste that in. And then for the title, that can be whatever you want. I'm gonna say, open a uh, picture or something, open image, right? We'll throw like an image view in or something once we see this. Uh, but yeah, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add a thing, another one in, and we're just gonna call this, oh yeah, this is where the bundle identifier comes in. So we're gonna call it UI application shortcut item type. And then in here, we're just gonna put our bundle identifier that we got from up there, so com, Mine's com.maxcodes.test. 
And then I'm going to say that now we just need to give it a name. So we're going to say dot, I'm going to say open picture. Okay. And then the next thing we need is, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and give this a compile and see what we got. Okay. So I've compiled it again. It's just this right here, all this outline stuff right here. And basically what you see here in this, which is going to be linked down below, it's going to be one of the links in there. All right. So right now we just have a blank app because we didn't do anything in the view controller. Let's close it. And then now let's click on it. And you'll see now we have open picture. So that's how you do it. I may have missed something in here. Let me know in the comments down below if I did. Um, I don't think I did, but let me know if I missed something. Uh, what I'm gonna, oh yeah, one more thing I wanna show you is basically when you do this, it needs to work, right? It just opens our app right now. I need to show you how you can basically register that you've clicked on it, right? So you do that in the app delegate um, let's see, did I write it out? Yeah, I wrote it out. So I called it open image when I was building this like five minutes ago, but basically, wow, this is huge. I don't, what the, well, let me zoom out. All right, whatever. I'll just make this bigger. Okay. So you'll see in this bottom one, funk application perform action for shortcut item. Basically, you're going to want to put this if statement in. It's going to be if that shortcut item dot type is equal to, and then you're going to put the deal there, right? So when I've been clicking on mine, you'll see it's not printing Gucci gang because it's not called open image. I renamed it to open picture. All right. Just like in the info dot P list, I called it open picture right here in shortcut item type, right? Right there. So it just has to match that. And then now when you click on it, you're going to see that it prints it out, right? It prints out whatever you have in there or in whatever other case, it does whatever you want to go down there, right? Like constant hello or let hello is equal to yo, right? Like it's just going to run that code. Okay. So that's about it. Um, I'm just gonna change the background color here just so you know what's going on. Just so you can like see like something in the app. Uh, cause right now it's just a blank white screen and that's kind of confusing. Maybe not, I don't know. but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test that out. All right. So now you can see it. So yeah, if you like want to suggest anything, I'll do it. Right. So like if you have, uh, ideas for this very concept that you need to explain, just drop a comment and I'll record it right when I see that comment. All right. I'll see you guys next time.